Hey guys, this is Haley from LonelineRabbits.com and today I'm going to be doing February's cage tour. So first off, I want to apologize for not having December or January cage tours, um, but I guess things just happened and I didn't get around to it and I feel really bad. Um, but I'm hoping to have every month cage tour for the rest of this year. Another thing I'm going to add is Mocha, Lulu, and Bun Bun are bonded. Um, it only took four sessions um, for me to bond them, so I was really excited because it took eight months for me to bond Mocha and Lulu. So um, they aren't like completely um, good together yet. I mean, they're living in the same room, but um, there is still some chasing. Lulu's chasing Bun Bun still. So I'm going to start on this part of the cage. So right over here we have the two litter boxes like normal and the two hay tubes. Then over here we have their two water dishes. Um, I'm actually using um, one of Bun Bun's water dishes and one of Mocha and Lulu's. Um, so right now it is at a horrible, it's in a horrible place because I got a new memory foam mat um, that goes along the whole length of the cage but it's not exactly wide enough so the bowls are like at an angle because it's like half on the memory foam mat and half off and so they're spilling and it's just it's not a good place so I have to find a better place for those water dishes then over here we have their two monkeys and their two beds behind that so in the corner of the cage all the fleece is dug up because I forgot to fix it before I started the video but I figured you guys could see the behind the scenes of what my cage sometimes looks like so um, the bunnies always dig up the fleece and I always have to go and fix it but I forgot to do it before I started the video so oh well. Um, but in the corner I just have their blue little hut. Then over here we have this red tunnel and we have Mocha sleeping and then over here I have added another litter box because I do have three bunnies in here now. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you what's in the rest of the room. So on the floor here I have a towel down with some veggies on it. I actually have two do towels down. I have one over there and then one over here. Um, that is because since the bunnies are still brand new together, um, I'm separate. I'm putting veggies in two separate places so that if one bunny chases the other bunny away, they still have veggies to get to. Then in the middle here, I just have this willow hidey hut, and I sort of made this kind of not. Um, it's made from a planter um, that's 100% willow, and I took the there was like four of these sides, and I took them apart, and then I zip tied them together this way so it can be a little teepee. And the bunnies have really been enjoying that, except they knocked it over last night, but that's okay. And then on the floor, my rug is not here anymore. So Lulu's been peeing on it a ton lately, and since the bunnies were going to be in the room together for the first time, I needed to make it smell as neutral as possible, like as neutral territory as possible. And the rug was just full of Lulu's pee, so I took that out to help with... Um, territorial issues and also because the rug is it's almost six months old and it's getting disgusting and the back is like falling apart so I'm just gonna go ahead and buy a new rug um, but I haven't done that yet so right now I just have those puzzle mats on the floor and I put a sheet on top so that they can't chew it then over here we have this little suitcase and um, I have that there because I didn't know if Bun Bun was going to be able to jump from the floor to there to get on the ramp. Um, I think she would be able to do it just fine, um, but she's been using the step and so of Mocha and Lulu, so I'm just going to keep it there for a while. Um, then back there I have their um, kennel. So for those of you wondering where Bun Bun was, she's actually in the corner over here. She really, really likes this stool. Um, and she's been sleeping on it a ton. I think she likes it because Lulu leaves her alone when she's up there. So that's her favorite place to sleep. I'm just hoping she doesn't pee on it. So right next to the cage here, I actually have this big shop vacuum. I've been using this for quite a while now, probably, um, probably about a month or two. And I really, really, really enjoy it because it never clogs. Um, and it's just really nice. And, um, I think I might... If you guys want like me to do a video about the shop vac and how it works and stuff, I'd be happy to do that um, because I am really in love with it. So my last cage tour, which was November, what my monthly challenge was to decorate for Christmas. 
and I did do that, but I never showed it on a video because I never filmed the cage tour. So I'm going to show it to you now because I actually forgot. I still have all my Christmas decorations up. So yeah, I guess I can still show you, but um, pretty much I just have some um, Christmas lights that go all the way around my room, and they are just white ones. And right above the window here, I actually have a Christmas ornament that is in the shape of a bunny, and it's just like a plush bunny. And then over the window here, I just have their two stockings. I have um, Lulu's stocking and then Mocha's stocking. Um, I didn't have Bun Bun at Christmas, so she didn't have a stocking. So now for this month's challenge. Um, my first challenge is going to be getting a rug for the floor. Um, that's something I have to do anyway, so that's going to be super easy. Um, I'm planning on getting a rug that looks very similar to my last one just because I liked that one so much. So another challenge that kind of isn't a challenge um, are these shelves. So pretty much, I don't know if I'm going to get to this by next month, um, but it's just something that I want to do in the future and I thought you guys could give me some ideas on. Um, so pretty much what I want to do is cover these shelves with curtains because I do not like the look. I don't like being able to see everything on the shelves and I would also like to put more stuff on the shelves. Um, and if I had curtains, it would look nicer and no one would be able to like see what's in there. Um, but I don't want to spend any money on this. So I want it to be like super easy and super cheap. Um, so pretty much what my thought was is I have a whole bunch of sheets that, um, that I have for the bunnies. But some of them have ripped and they just aren't really usable for the rabbits anymore. Um, so I was thinking I could cut those up and maybe sew them somehow so that I could sew curtains for the two shelves. But I don't know how I'm going to keep the curtains up because I don't really have a curtain rod or anything. Um, and I also don't want to just like tack it on there and then have like the curtains be not really easily to remove if that makes sense. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon on a new video. Bye!